Hey guys, Frosty8415 here. Do not see me. We're uh, going out to Mount Rushmore and uh, it's still about negative four, negative five. It varies and goes down to negative three. It's the last day of 2017 and my wife and I decided to come out here and see some snow and spend some time in South Dakota. This is one of our favorite spots. Uh, Sturgis is nearby. A lot of things nearby. This is a road going down into Keystone. Uh, you come down this hill and there's motels and a lot of little attractions all down through here. This is Keystone itself that we're coming into now. I had a video of uh, Deadwood earlier. This is a video of Keystone. <laughs> busy little place during the summer. I know it's not busy right now. There's the train station there. You can take a ride on the train station and go up. Uh, a lot of things to see down here during the summer. Oh, it's, it's really nice during the summer. Uh, during Sturgis, you can't even get in here whenever all the motorcycles are out here. It's jam-packed. Got some Borglum museums over there on the left. He's the guy that designed and did all the work on Mount Rushmore. Kind of neat on the left hand side over here, there's a chainsaw art. This guy takes chainsaws and man, he really makes some gorgeous stuff. All that's chainsaw art. That's really good. Again, you know, this is Keystone. It's not, not big, it's just little houses beside the creek, so to speak. Coming up into uh, Mount Rushmore, which is just ahead of us up here. I'm trying to keep this video kind of not very long, guys, because, you know, it's hard to watch a video any length that doesn't have anything in it. Uh, probably going to be seeing... Mount Rushmore here in just a second. There's Mount Rushmore National Monument sign. And uh, obviously they did scrape the road, but not a lot going on. You know? Go ahead. Uh, this is just uh, I got it. Go ahead. talking to my wife there. I was going to let her take some pictures. She was going to take some photos. Uh, but she's actually the uh, camera operator. <laughs> so it's a couple more miles to Mount Rushmore. Uh, one of these curves here, I know when you pop around it, you'll end up seeing Mount Rushmore up in the distance. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to get this video down as small as possible. I'll probably edit some of it out. I don't do a lot of editing on my videos uh, because I'm uh, new to YouTube and new to video editing and I'm just getting started. I'm just uh, doing the best that I can, guys. So kind of bear with me. Uh, as time goes by, I'm sure that I'll uh, get a little more expertise and uh, be able to uh, do some better videos for you guys. But right now I'm just doing the best, of, best I can with what I got to work with. There's George Washington's face up there in the distance on top of the hill. Kind of hard to see. Uh, we 
we'll get another look at him here in a second. Uh, it's kind of a stark image, really, because of all the snow. But this is a beautiful, beautiful place. They've kept it. You know, there's not a lot going on here as far as commercialization. Uh, it's just, you know, the park area, the necessary buildings and facilities for the park employees. There's not a lot of hype. I like that about this place. They keep it kind of, you know, where you can actually enjoy it without too much commercialization. Now, we're coming up on Mount Rushmore itself right there in the distance. Uh, a lot of people coming down off here. This road is super slick. I'm in four-wheel drive, and it is uh, spinning away. So 